your depression and anxiety can be healed naturally. So it was summer of 2022 and I'm walking from my penthouse, all successful me, to get some food. This is what I would do when I was coping. I would walk to go binge. I get overwhelmed with this feeling that I just can't ignore anymore. And I start weeping. If this is all my life ever turned out to be, wow, Jay Faded, the barber, how miserable and depressed that would be. I let that wash over me. Like, man, you gotta change, you gotta evolve. You're living a mediocre life only because you haven't let go of your fears. And I couldn't stand that feeling. And Marcus Aurelius has a quote, I'm gonna read it from my notes straight from my journal right now. He says, do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. When I thought about my life as if it was over, and that's all I did was waste time as a barber. Barbering is not my purpose. It never was my purpose. And I knew it. I knew it, but I was scared to let it go. But my mind was like, nah, bro. This is what the world knows you as successful at. You're a successful barber. You cut all the celebrities. You're this cool guy on Instagram. Well, my heart was like, I don't give a fuck about Instagram, bro. You have a destiny and a purpose to share these lessons that you've learned. Because a lot of people think that depression and anxiety is just a disease. I'm here to tell you something, bro. Listen, here's a secret. They won't tell you this. Your depression and anxiety can be healed naturally by that man in the mirror. You don't need any prescription drugs. You don't need any substances. What I'm saying is it's a temporary fix if you smoke that joint. Go binge out a night out at the club. Temporary fix in all your dopamine sources that you use to cope. Even overeating. All these are temporary. But you know the one that really will solve the whole thing? For me, the one thing was letting go of my old identity, my old beliefs, and all my old habits, my old thoughts, and create a new paradigm and worldview. And I call this taking the red pill. And just like Neo in the Matrix, I went through a stage of denial. When they gave Neo that red pill, the first thing he did is say, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe this shit. I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go back to my old reality and what I know to be true, what I'm comfortable with. I was in limbo, unfortunately, for over a year about choosing my new life path versus staying who I knew I was as a barber, staying in comfort and popular delusion. That's what society is. It's, it's popular delusion. We, we pretend that it's okay to work a job that we hate, to be in a craft or a job title that's not actually propelling our existence forward to our highest version of ourselves. Everyone's purpose is to become the highest version of themselves and then gift that individual to the world. And I knew this, I knew this, I knew this in my soul since I was a little kid in Ohio. I always knew one day my life is going to be better than it is right now. I always knew I'm not gonna be in this small town around these small-minded people forever. I have a purpose to do something great with my life. I'm talking about from the very beginning. And that's what it was eating me alive at night. I'll go to bed unfulfilled, wake up unfulfilled, still hitting that snooze button. You know what got me out was I had to get savage. I had to have an abnormally early wake time. I got a question for you. Right now, if I gave you a wake time, bro, that was extremely uncomfortable, but you know it would push you to your highest self. You know if you committed to this, it will get you out of this rut that you're in. Because it's so abnormally different than your old character, it's obvious you're now in a new character. You're now a new individual. What would that time be? I already told you guys about what I was doing. I was busting the nut in the sock. I was ordering Uber Eats. I was pushing snooze on the alarm. I was going to bed late. I was smoking a joint every day. On the way home from crying with all that food that I was coping with, I stopped at a dispensary and I bought a pack of pre-rolled joints. And I told myself, I deserve to smoke these joints. I deserve it because I've been going to the gym. That's what I would tell myself. Anytime that we tell ourselves we deserve something is when we start to fall off. Deserving more comfort is never what is the answer to excelling in my purpose. I knew that. But I, I was coping with the pain, the painful existence of not following the calling of my conscience to be a speaker, to be a life coach and give wisdom to the world. I was holding all that in and it just died inside of me, just rotted in it ate me alive from the inside out and I was just living with that pain decided to stop at the dispensary and grab some joints on the way home and this to me this right here just created a pattern of existence that I really regretted so much I went from smoking once a week on the weekend to, to every day of the weekend to then every day of the week and weekend and then I would and instead of just smoking at night then I was smoking in the morning and at night and I basically just started being high all day and this was the slippery slope of my depression and anxiety and 
wanting to just escape my own mind. I hated that I wasn't living my purpose and I couldn't see the path to becoming that man. It, it seemed so far away in the distance that to think about taking steps towards it was way too painful and daunting and I didn't want to follow that calling of my conscience. So instead, I just went on a slippery slope down. We're either improving or life's getting worse. There's no in between and there's no stagnation because nature doesn't support stagnation. And so I was withering away from the inside out. I had like the soul of an old man. And this is what changed my life is when I decided to talk to my client who he pulled up on me and he, he told me that he had to stop smoking. He was like tired of hitting that vape pen. He was tired of hitting that THC pen. And he said he was gonna stop. And I was like, you know what, bro? I got one joint left in my closet. I got one joint left in my cupboard. And I went and grabbed it and I flushed it down the toilet right in front of him. I was like, bro, you know what, I'm done. Let's do 30 days. I told myself I would, I would start with just 30 days of not smoking. And this is exactly what I did. But guess what? I felt so good after 30 days, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go the rest of the year. And guys, now it's been eight months. I've been sober for eight months, sober and abstinent, and waking up dumb early for eight months. What's up, puppy? And this is what happens, you just attract love into your life. How you doing, man? How you doing? What's up? I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a new friend. I got a new friend. How you doing, bro? It was a lot of self-work and healing that I had to do first. I had to really journal. I had to really reflect. And the best thing I could do was take a three-day vacation where I didn't use my phone at all. I put my phone on airplane mode. I would only use it to use GPS, a journal, a book, and an own meditation frequency and that's all I would do what's up man that's all I would do for three days and I just stared at the ocean and sought inside myself and all that did was make me feel more in tune with myself but it wasn't until I applied massive pain and taking action through the pain that I started to get results and that's the process of a, a abnormal wake-up time so early that you're not sure if you can stick to this thing. You're questioning it every day. Can I even keep this going? Is this even healthy? Is this even possible? Am I gonna get sleep deprivation? Like, you need to be questioning how the hell is this even possible? Because that man is gonna be so proud of himself. Like, no, I still push through the workout. I did what I can't. They tell you every day, do what you can. And this process helps you do what you can't do. And this is how you become the man that your old self couldn't be. I had to become a different version of me through an abnormal wake time positive reading immediately and then a strenuous workout then I can do a macro meal before that only protein powder then I can finally get some carbs in some enjoyment after I stack those three wins let's go